you know how to minimize injury when you fall? Huh? Minimize injury when falling? Just trust luck. No way. As the saying goes, if you choose the right posture, you can fall with less pain. Huh? Nonsense. Come on, show us. Sure. We'll demonstrate the scientific way to fall. Reminder, this is for scientific demonstration. Please look at it from a reasonable point of view. To ensure safety, we've laid down three layers of mats to display the impact of different falling postures. Now, let's see how to fall with less injury. Ready? Ready? Go! That looks exactly like how I fall. Clearly, that's the wrong way to do it. Oh. Why? Slow motion analysis shows if your hands directly hit the ground, not only will your palms absorb all the impact, but the force will also travel upwards by the front to wrist, elbow, and shoulder. Ooh. The pressure sensor also confirmed this, with the hand area lighting up red, massive pressure. Oh, I'll just avoid using my hands? Then your face would take the hit. This is bad and not using them is bad too, so what do we do? Next, we have Lee to demonstrate how to fall safely. It's actually simple. Just remember this. Protect your head, absorb the impact, and lower your center of gravity. Okay. <laughs> like a frog? Does this really work? Absolutely. Here's the difference. First, bend down and lower your center of gravity. Second, fully extend your hands in front of your head. Third, after your palms touch the ground, your arms should follow to absorb the impact. These three steps greatly reduce the chance of injury. See, the impact is much smaller than that. Wait, that's just for falling forward. What if I fall backward? There's a way to handle that too. If you land directly on your backside, you can break your tailbone. <gasps> Let's have Lee demonstrate how to fall backwards safely. The same rules apply. Protect your head, absorb the impact, and lower your center of gravity. Tuck in your chin to protect your head. Quickly bend your knees. After your backside lands, roll with the fall to absorb the impact and use your arms for support. This way you can minimize injury when falling backwards. So we should manage falling like this. Yes. It takes courage to get up after falling down. It takes wisdom to fall in a scientific way. <laughs>